Okay, back to our hard drive. We've got that removed, and this mechanism right now is just held in by the platter. So when we start removing these, this arm's going to come out freely. Actually, we could probably get it out right now. There's a neat little copper set on there that uh, the hard drive uses to move the record heads back and forth. So we're just going to break that off and be kind of rugged with it. You could probably more than likely use this for something very interesting because they are really cool looking. Now you have this top thing and you want to save the screws make sure you don't lose them you're going to notice these platters come off and in between each one is a spacer ring like this so we're going to remove the whole stack I don't know if you can see that each one has a spacer ring in between it which is slides around we're just going to remove the whole stack like that we're going to pull it off and you have a really nice beautiful plate to use for other projects um, down here you again have a larger bit, so we're going to try to torque that out. And then right out of the center comes this really cool high speed DC motor. This motor works really well. You can actually get it to run off of a regular battery on some hard drives. Others are a little different, but you can see it's got a nice bearing set in there that spins really well. So now that we have this out, we can put this back on. Apply our platters all the way down. Now if you want, you've got all these platters to use for your solar project. In a future video, I'm going to show you how to take these and make a wonderful, wonderful solar concentrator out of them. They work fantastic. But for this, we're going to put them back on. And this ring sits right on top. Putting these back together is a little tricky, lining up the holes. Make sure you have the right screw. And then once you're done, you end up with something like this. Now, this could be mounted. You could actually keep it mounted to this and use the entire hard drive to see if that works as a Tesla turbine, but there's a nice set of blades right there. These can handle heat, so steam would be fine going across these, and that's pretty much it for the hard drive. You've got all of the neat components. What you do with the rest of the stuff, well, that's up to you, but again, every hard drive is very different, and you know the magnets are not as strong in some as others, but makes for a very interesting do-it-yourself project. I hope this helped you figure out what to do with stuff like this, and Thank you for watching.